something stuck out to me when I was listening to one of the press conferences yesterday, uh, the one from the hospital. The doctors are not, according to this man's description, dress break. Look at all this stuff that they're using in Africa. Pay special attention to the head, the mask, how it's it's put on and then something goes over that and then another thing and it gets wrapped. It's very secure. Very secure. See there? And then you're going to hear what this doctor describes how the, the, the professionals are working here. The question is, what are the doctors dressed like? Is it head to toe like we've seen on the television? The head to toe is not an actual requirement. Uh, but in Africa, it might be because they have such primitive resources in terms of running water, floors. They often are on dirt floors and such. What the staff are doing now is they're wearing water impermeable gowns. In fact, they're wearing two of them because the gowns open in the back and it's hard to tie them close. So they have one gown that's in the back and the other gown open, uh, uh, tying in the front. They're wearing gloves. They're wearing uh, surgical masks and they're wearing eye protection. And they're wearing, uh, because the patient did have diarrhea, they're wearing shoe protection as well. So he described this. It looks like the guy's just wearing glasses, but put goggles on there. And this is what he's describing. That does not look sufficient to me. And then there's the question, have they been trained the correct way to put them on and take them off? And where are they being disposed? If they're wearing two, each doctor is wearing two gowns, the booties, the gloves, the goggles, the whole thing. The gowns are disposable. I'm assuming that they sterilize the other ones between shifts. But the gowns have to be picked up by waste management, and I would assume. You can't recycle those. So anywhere along that supply chain between taking them off the doctor and I'm assuming incinerating them? Sticking them in a drum and putting them in a whip? I don't know what happens to these things, but they can't just be thrown in the trash or run through the laundry. You know, each one of these has to be dealt with as if it could kill thousands of people, because it could. And I feel like the arrogance in just assuming that our medical system is better than the African medical system, so nobody's going to catch it here, it could be our downfall. Everything is specialized. All the jobs are specialized. And in, in, say, Sierra Leone, when the doctor takes off a gown, it gets burned right on site, I would assume. Or sterilized immediately right on site. It doesn't go anywhere. These are picked up by contractors, loaded into the back of a truck, you know, and, and driven God knows where. You know, if they throw them in the, in the incinerator in the hospital, more power to you. I say do that. You know, don't just treat this as medical waste and, and put it in a bag and send it off somewhere. You know, all these things have to be thought about. One mistake, you know, the guy drives 200 miles down the road to the plant to get rid of it, and then all of a sudden we have a cluster. 